I'm getting a late start in the day today. I had a bunch of normal stuff people have to do, normal people stuff this morning. But um, this video is dedicated to BAP over there in uh, Belfast. I can carve. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll leave a description below. I'll leave his link to his channel in the description below. He's building a spirit trails like I have in Ladner here in Belfast, Ireland. He's uh, like a family member to me now. I've known him for a good few years now. Um, he's met some of my step family in Belfast. Um, he's gone over there and said hello to them and took them a car one of my carvings because my stepfather's Irish. So there are uh, lots of people ask that uh, if they don't know me and they watch one of my videos, they ask me if I'm Irish because I guess I have my father's accent. But I'm Heinz 57. I guess I got half Canadian, half Irish accent. So, anyways, this is a piece of cedar I found on the beach today. And for my buddy Bap, he wants to find out how I do the swoosh line. So this is going to be a wood spirit with a... Uh, it's going to be a windy day wood spirit. So his beard's going to be going down this way. And his hair is going to come up this way. Or I might make it the same way. It doesn't matter. You can make them opposites if you want. I think they look better opposites. But so he wants to... Um, I'm going to... Uh, he wants to see how I do it. He knows how to do it, but I'm just going to... This video is dedicated to you, Bap and Laura. Dedicated to you, Bap and Laura. Dedicated to you, Bap and Laura. Hello. 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 And Rock Rocco. So I'm going to show you guys the tools that I, I'm going to be using in this carving. I'm going to pull this out this uh, outside and uh, see if I can get a suntan. It's pretty warm here today. So let's see here. So I don't have to do much editing. This is. I'll probably be starting off with this. This is the battery saw. MSA 140 with a 12 inch steel carving bar 50 gauge chain this is a steel, another steel MS 140 see the batteries I'm gonna put a new battery in this right away with the 8 inch cannon bar with the 50 gauge um, a die grinder this is the fast this is the 800 C GD 800 C. This is the super fast one that's got lots of torque with the cuts all silver uh, silver flame burr on here. Okay, there's my buddy Stu just showed up. Here's your uh, Dremel with different bits I'm going to be using. Uh, see, this is a piece of ready rod with a couple nuts on the back and then a nut on the front with some. Uh, Sand, uh, emery cloth sandpaper, it's belt sander, just cut it up. You're going to need a torch and propane and a uh, dust mask. And I'm going to be using corn, cornholia oil for my uh, sauce. All right. Hey, Stu, how's it going, buddy? Doing good, how are you? Say hi, YouTube world. Hey, YouTube. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, I got it uh, set up outside here. Make sure this microphone's working. Um, so wood spirit. You know what the same, it's kind of the same for the Dremel too. Just Dremel your chainsaw, you're blocking out big pieces of the face. Dremel carving, you're slowly removing the wood. So sometimes you're gonna have to go in front of the screen. So the center line is here. Where do you want your forehead? How much hair do you want up here? How much hair do you want on the bottom? So I think um, here's good enough. For the forehead. Make sure it's a center on the piece. We'll bring these lines down a bit here. Um, redraw our center line on. The eyes. I suggest always start off with a smaller forehead than a bigger forehead. If you have a big forehead it can look like a mongoloid. Um, the nose. I'm going to give this guy a long nose. A long skinnier nose. I have lots of tutorial videos. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this so it's on screen. And the mustache. So we'll make it so his mustache is blowing this way. We'll make it so his hair is blowing this way. So we'll just put a line up here as a reminder. And the mustache. So it's coming over, coming off the face, and then whoosh, down here. Whoosh, 
Uh, these lines are just template lines. I'm, I might carve it more that way. We don't really need to draw this stuff on first yet. There's so many different ways you could do the wood spirit. You know, but I think first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve the forehead in and slope it back all the way to all the way to this nose. I'm gonna slope it back, and that's how you can get your nose to pop farthest off. You can you don't have to get your nose to, to step pop farthest off, but that's what we're gonna aim for here. So we're gonna cut deep in here. Uh, I got like six inches, oh about, oh, about five inches of depth in this piece. It's not a solid round log. So I'm going to do a deep cut in here, and I'm going to go like this, and s remove all the wood to make it slope back. If that makes sense to you. And we're going to try not to cut through this, but if we do, who cares? So let me see if there's oil in my uh, saw. I'm going to kind of run this video live. Like I said in my couple other recent videos, um, these saws sure eat up a lot of oil, bar oil. You don't have to use carnola oil, you can use real oil. I haven't sharpened these chains, but this one feels pretty sharp. So like I said, we're going to cut deep into the forehead and then slope it back. I'm gonna turn this over here a little bit, so. And you always leave yourself extra room on each side too, right? Like, see how the head comes, the face comes here? That way, I'm gonna, I've been doing a cheekbone too, so I'm gonna do that uh, cheekbone in here too. Stand by, I'm gonna sharpen my uh, I'm gonna sharpen my chain. Okay, so I got the uh, chain sharpened. This is pretty hard uh, cedar. I think it's cedar anyways. I'm not battling it anymore if it's cedar Douglas. <laughs> Pull off pieces like that. Remember this is driftwood. So like sand could be hiding underneath here. It will make your, yeah, there's a whole bunch of sand right in here. It will make your uh, chain stuff really <laughs> Got rid of the whole face, it's okay, you just redraw it on. I think this is Douglas fir. So that's back far enough. You know, I'm not going to worry too much about making the eyes, uh, the nose stick farthest off the face on this piece. 
got a crack here, so our nose, let's try and avoid that crack being on our nose, or our center line. Let's see, I gotta go in front of the camera. So we might have to push our nose a little bit more over that way, that's okay. Our eyes are right here. Then, your mustache, whoosh, whoosh, blowing off the side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut across here, then I'm gonna remove the wood. So, cut here, not too deep, maybe that deep. Very deep says only that deep. Then remove the wood, then start uh, cutting here. And uh, cutting. So you notice for this side, I'm going to angle it this way. For this side, I'm going to angle it this way. And this side, I'm going to angle it this way. Come over here. All right. So you can see the face is totally off balance, but we'll fix it. That's all right. Let's cut it. Okay, now we'll remove this wood beside the nose. Beside the mustache. We'll do it on the other side. Try not to hit your nose. Now we'll cut below the nose. Yeah, this is a pretty chippy piece of wood. I'm gonna cut below the nose. Try and get your cut marks out of there. You still got a lot of depth to make on this. I'm just showing you guys like, so let's cut deep right in here and right in here. Okay, now let's cut this mustache. Look deep inside there, doing an up cut. Don't want to hit that nose like I did, but that's okay, we can fix it. Yeah, 100%, this is Douglas fur. Okay. So there you can see. Now let's clean up in these lines here. To the other side. All right. So I'm probably need some oil now too. Like I said, these uh. Let me get my uh, air nozzle out here. I'll be back. These are really good to have when you're doing chainsaw carving or a leaf blower or something. Okay. 
So now, this is something that I've been doing. I learned this from uh, Rex. He does it. He's a chisel carver, wood carver's corner. So your center line, let's draw. So I'll give you a side view right now. It's a pretty flat face. The nose does not stick farthest off the face. It doesn't matter. All we have to do to make that happen is push, curve these eyebrows deeper. But let's worry about that later. So, if you look at your face, I'm not a good example because I'm fat, but somebody's skinny, they have a bone right here. So he, he goes like this, and then he uses this bone, your cheekbone, to come out. So I'm gonna carve this skinnier, and then it's gonna have like a, below the eye. It's, it's kind of below the eye, right? And that's kind of the cheekbone. So, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. But I'm gonna cut deep right in here to give him a temples, right? So it's gonna have a deep straight cut here. And Kevin's at six and stone says, if you have a problem with the foreheads, think of it as three planes. So you got one plane here, then two, then three. So straight and sloped, side, then side. Sticking out there, it's a little bit high, but that's okay. Get out of here. All right. So let's take these eyebrows, push them farther back. Just use the bottom of your bar like this right here. This bit here, you shouldn't get any kickback because if you're going to use the top of the bar, you can get kickback, right? This kind of, this will be like a Dremel. So now the nose sticks farther off there. So now let's scoop in these eyes. Your cheeks are a little bit high too, but we'll worry about that after. You can kind of see the bumps there. They're not equal, they're not perfect, don't care. So let's, uh, where's my pen? Let's give him a bottom lip here. So I'm gonna cut all this out, remove some of the wood, then cut 
a lip in there. That makes sense to you guys and girls, whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be, that's the time and the ages that we're in. mustache doesn't need to be sticking that it doesn't need to be that deep in here so I'm going to remove some of this outer wood anyway So now I'll look at the face and see what's going on. This, your center's there. This side's a little bit bigger. Let's kind of turn in those uh, cheekbones. I'm not the best at doing this, so what I'm gonna do is kind of just do a cut in here and go like this, I guess. Okay. That right side's a little bit bigger. Kind of just. So the beard will go, we'll do a cut here. We'll go like this and then undercut it. It's actually a pretty terrible piece of wood. It's so chippy. Put the cheekbones down a bit. What I like to do is, when I do one side, I like to go over and do the other side. Okay, we'll remove some of the wood behind this board. Well, I need to, uh, Okay, I need to change batteries and fill up with oil. I'm gonna to switch to my other smaller saw. Okay, just put the tripod in here for a minute. So this is the quick charger. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'll put the microphone by it. How's a fan going in here? So by the time that I'm done carving with that other battery and it dies, this quick charger makes it so this battery will be full. So it's a good idea to have two batteries. And I suggest once you get some more money, buy this, the quick charger. So yeah, I got the new battery in and that oil. A good indicator when you're, um, you're out of oil is it's just not cutting as nice as it would when it had oil in it. So I'm gonna remove all, I gotta get rid of all this outside wood. It's just so chippy and jumpy.
keep them bringing the mustache down closer to the face. Like this one's about an inch and a half up here. So I'm gonna take it down lower to the face. Oh, this is such a terrible piece of wood. All right, so his beard needs to flow off over here too because it's blowing in the wind. Is this thing on camera? I got my microphone a lot lower too, so you guys don't have to hear me huffing and puffing. So I'm going to remove some of this wood. Sorry everybody, it's good to wear your chaps. I'm not wearing mine today, but I should be. the beard blowing off this way all right so where's my uh, air gun Ooh, it's warm out I hope I get it down this mustache is a little bit thin here I got an undercut there I need to remove Spirits can be whatever you want them to be. They don't have to look like wizards. So what I'm doing inside here, each corner I'm cutting deep. So when you do your wood burning, when you wood burn in there, when you got all your stuff carved in, that burn will stay in there and it gives a good effect. This is such a lousy piece of wood, but it's okay, you gotta keep going, eh? <laughs> Trying to make the rest of seem equal on both sides. This I gotta take some of this crappy wood off here. Now, for the hair, I gotta, oh boy. I'm gonna get my, my gas chainsaw and quickly remove all this junk wood. It's just a piece of junk, all right? If I have it, I hope I have it here. Okay, I'm gonna quickly, I got my uh, 170 with the 16 inch cannon bar on here. Um, I think the gas saws do run a bit faster. So, but you guys, if you didn't have such a junky piece of wood, you can use your battery saws. Even with junky wood, you could use, I'm just trying to speed it up. I'm talking about like, if you wanna carve in your backyards, you can use these battery saws, they're quiet.
Hello. Actually, I'm going to close this fence here. So now what you do is you look at your face. I can see, I can see this cheekbone sucks in more than this one. So where's my saw? So let's just kind of curve this in a bit. You know, it's kind of pushed in. It's nice to get your face to be more rounder. I don't know. Let's see if I can take these cheekbones down. A bit. Now look at your piece. And this one's still thinner here than it is there. So let's see here. I'm trying to go as slow as I possibly can for all you beginner carvers. Okay, they're still not perfect. Let me see here. But they're good enough. So I look at these two points too, this point here and this point. I make those equal. So let's want to work on the hair right now. What I'm going to do is re, um, re oil my saw and we're going to do some deep cuts. We're going to do the, the beard hairs like ass, uh, bap ass in two stages. We're going to do deep cuts, then we're going to do the, the, the fine hair hairs. I'm going to save a bit of time and I'm going to run my gas saw because, like I said, it's quicker. But where's the pen? I'm gonna go like this. And everything's gonna be coming this way. All the way from there. Your mustache is here, your hair is here. So these are deeper cuts and I'm gonna remove the wood, you'll see.
they're going to come over here. So I'm going to chip off this wood a bit here. Then I'm going to come and do it on this side. way too friggin' dull. Frick! This wood is just a piece of junk! Okay, I'll switch back to the battery saw. <laughs> oh, this thing's falling off this thing. Ah. Not supposed to be that way, Jordy. Oh, it's hot. just chips off and there's sand all underneath there. This whole thing's gonna come off right here. Told ya. Piece of shit. Kasha, you better make another leprechaun video. So now, is this thing even filming? No, my luck, it's probably not. So now, right in here, I kind of just round these off to hit the head. So I see some undercuts here. This whole piece is going to bust off. So we'll get rid of this out of there.
So, now, all you do is just start carving like crazy. Carve like crazy, bap. And you just start crossing the lines. See what I'm gonna do? I'm not cutting straight in. I'm not cutting like this, all right? I'm cutting with the angle of my chain. You know, like here for example, this one might have been talking about BAP cutting too deep. You guys, BAP sent me a video um, showing me what he was talking about, but see how deep that is in there? It's like an inch and a half inside there. I cut too deep. But all I do is get my bar inside here and bring it out. Right here, I'm just gonna bring it out. Just keep cutting till you think it doesn't look so straight and smooth. See, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna bring it over here to blend in with these ones. deep in here up oh. see how deep it's cut in there can you see so all I'm gonna do is cut this and I'm gonna blend it in there like um, where's a pen so you, you know exactly what I mean so you got your, it's deep inside there I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna cut it into there and that will that will take care of that deepness that will get rid of that if that makes sense to you about all right so I'll just finish this off miserable wood here. So 
There you go, Bob. You see? Now I'll look at the piece, stand back and look at it. You know, when I burn this and sand it, lots of things are going to fly off, right? Like up here. It's a real big, handy thing once you start using the side of the bar. Okay, so let's do down here. And there you can see there's hair there. It's all blended in. See here? It's kind of straight. I'll show you. Can you see it or not? See here? This is too straight for me. It should all be moving. Everything. No straight lines. Where it broke off here, that's straight too. It's straight. 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 beginning carvers this is just my opinion not so straight anymore okay okay now I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee Man, I'm filming this video in 4K. It's gonna take me forever to upload it. I mean, edit it. There you go. Does that make sense to you, Bob? Just more cuts. Cut, 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 cut. Maybe I'll do this bottom part off uh, camera. Screw it, I'll keep going. So. I'm not gonna do this beard like I did the hair, I'm just gonna cut it in. Right, look how, man. It's okay. You don't know. I don't always get the best wood, right? So, see how I'm gonna cross. I'm gonna do one cut here. I'll zoom in for this. I'm gonna do one cut here, and then I'm gonna cross over. So there's my cut. So now I'm gonna go in this cut and cross it into there, like that. It makes it your wood thinner and more fragile to bust off. So Up. I hope that can help you. You know, boast my 
you can do the deep cuts like I did up top, but this wasn't a very good piece for that because it's so chippy. So I just did the cuts on the bottom like that. You know, you get little marks like this. So I'm going to clean up on the outside here. So it's die grinder time. So I'm going to do a time lapse with this die grinder, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round up more in these eyes, carve them some eyebrows. I'm going to split the wood here, carve it deeper there, round off this forehead, scoop these back in a bit more, shape the nose, and shape the bottom lip. So let's do a time lapse. Yeah, time lapse, bap, time lapse. Hi, bap, over there in Ireland and the Irish family. Okay, well, before I do the time lapse, let's uh, get a side view here. Took the eyebrows way back. We're gonna take these cheekbones down lower. But you see, bap, there's like there's a deep cut there, but it's okay. Nobody's gonna be looking at the piece on the side. They're gonna be looking at it this way, right? Or front. And I gotta carve really deep in here each side but you see how the whole hair is going this way back or everybody else and see how I tuck it in this way right here here's a perfect example tuck it in that way so it's all flowing the same way same with here it's all flowing the same way see let me find here's a square cut right see that I need to get my saw and cut that so it's not square square cut doesn't matter as long as you're having fun wood spirits can be whatever you want them to be carve an owl like that <laughs> no don't carve an owl like that like it's okay if you carve an owl like that and you're happy with it but I'm not happy with that owl like that because I carved it and well it's just silly but you guys don't don't list don't be a Jordy just don't be a Jordy like I mean don't uh, don't listen to me hey Brian Moore how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing good there. Hope you're uh, recovering well. Always thinking about you. Thanks for all the support for the channel. And um, ride the waves. Ride the waves, Brian. Ride the waves. All right, so. Where's a pen? You know, I say on lots of my earlier videos, free wood is the best wood. And free wood is the best wood because it's 100% profit when you're going to sell a piece. So. I had to work through all the cracks and all the sand and sharpen my saws, this and that. So let's give another side view here. It's got the bumpy nose. You guys will see I hit it with my sander too because now, um, if I look at these cheeks, look at this cheek, look at this one compared to this one. 
So this is, see that bump there? That's what I tried to go for. Now, if I wanted to make this more bumpier, all I would have to do is remove some of this wood right here and don't touch that. And then that would be more bumpier. This side's not that bumpy, but I can see this side is a little bit, well, you see here, I taper this in more. So what I'm gonna do quickly, what I gotta do here, I'll show you exactly what I gotta do so you guys can learn from my mistakes. I gotta take some more of this down. See how this is flatter here? This is more sticking out this way. I gotta take some more of this down and then do a little bit more there. So I'm gonna get that done right now. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's better. I could bring this down a little bit more, but whatever, don't care. You know, I wanna show you guys, look at the depth that I carved in the sides here. So the eyes are right here and this is the temple. So it should be scooped in, right? I could scoop this in even a little bit more if I wanted to. See that? Don't be afraid to carve deeper and get the face to pop out, right? Like normally, this is like I said, this isn't a real person. Normally the, the ears would be right here, right? But I have carved ears on wood spirits before, so there you go. I'm gonna carve these eyes on. I'm not gonna film it because it's just freaking it's getting, it's not even that hot out, but uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty hot cooking right now. So anyways. We're just right by an airport. So I'll show you guys the steps I'm gonna do. So I got these drawn on. You can see that this side of the face from your drawing on your eyes, can we even see on the camera? Yeah, this side of the face is wider than this side of the face. That's okay, I could, I could take more of that wood off if I wanted to. But now I got this aluminum cutting bit on uh, this three point cutter here. Why is the screen not bright? I can barely even see. But I got this cutter here, this cheap Chinese cutter. I'm gonna cut like this right in there straight in, true to the line. Then I'm gonna get another burn and remove some of the wood here to make this center part stick off the most from the face. Then I'm gonna round that off. Okay, so you guys can see, look at the depth there. Like I said, I rounded the wood. I, I cut true to the line. Then I removed the wood around it. So I went here, right? Then I went up over here and removed the wood up here and beside the nose too. So now here's the cuts all taper burr. Um, let's show you. Cuts all taper burr extreme. And I'm gonna round these off the best that I can. So they're kind of like, um, so like there's a ball put in behind here. And you see a little bit of the ball sticking through, right? Pretend this was hollow. Push the ball back and then there should be just a little bit kind of like a football shape kind of deal. Okay, so I'm not the best at doing eyes, but the more you do, just like anything else, the better you're gonna get. So you can see how round they are inside there and the depth. So where's a pen? Um, now, I'm gonna try and hold the camera and do this at the same time. Another tip from Rex. The top of the eyelid should be more rounder and the bottom more flatter. Because if you do both round, then that's gonna give you big wide eyes. I want this guy to be kind of like squinting. So there's that, then the bottom, kind of just rounder. Okay, so go like this, then go like this. You can do the dot, whatever you want to do. Right, and then the bottom. I can see this one's up higher. So, I am going to, um, let me find the lid for my pen. I am gonna try and film this. Once again, I got that cheap Chinese cutter on here. You guys see it? I don't know if you can, it's hard to see with this sun. So, but I'm gonna go really gentle. Work on this eye, work on this. I try and make them as equal as I can, right? So this, these lines, this would be the top eyelid. This would be the bottom eyelid. All right, and I'm gonna carve really deep in each corner. So carve deep here. Then carve really deep in this corner and try and make it look round inside there. I got lots of roundness here, but my always eyes always don't turn out to be so round. They turn out to be more flat. You know, even at this, it's, it's really good to use diamond burrs for this so you can take your time, but I don't like taking my time, so. And there's no guarantees on the filming. Ah, oh, my dribble's on the ground. I'll try and keep it in the screen and... <laughs>
burrs are for the, I'm not a very experienced carver, but I'd suggest these burrs for the more experienced carvers, you gotta be super steady. <laughs> Okay, I don't care what anybody says, your wood spirits do not have to have real eyes. So you can see I have the bottom eyelid, the top eyelid there, but I just hauled them out because this, this wood was just too brittle, they kept chipping out. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna carve them out, just don't care. So this is your uh, Mampa cutter, this is expensive. You see it's a little three point cutter. I'm just gonna give them some age lines on the forehead and some uh, eyebrows, eyebrow hairs. Yeah, uh, just Google Manpa, Manpa tools, and M N A P A. Just sign it right now. Now this whole piece of wood's been terrible, but you know you got to work through it. You know because if you carve lots of terrible wood, then once you get uh, some nice wood, then your your carvings are going to be so much nicer, right? So. Uh, I'm going to quickly hit it with the flap sander. There's oh, my uh, air blower. Eyes black too or red. Uh, let me get the torch going. How about I finish this up on a time lapse so I can listen to music? Mic check, mic check, one, two. Okay, so there you guys can see. Um, I even sanded off some of his eyebrows trying to get inside these eyes but I just used a little uh, Dremel to, to highlight the eyes so there you go BAP there's uh, 
I did the two layers up here, but you just, when you're cutting the hairs, just try and make everything smooth and just keep cutting deeper. And you start off, if you like, I'd sometimes for the Dremel carving, the wood spirit hairs, I'll do three stages. But so this one would be the two stages, but I normally just make mine like this. You could make them just like your wood spirit that you're working on right now, uh, Bap. You could just make them the big, you could just give them big lines as hairs and just smooth it out with your sander, right? It doesn't need to have all these little tiny separate hairs. You can just do nice big smooth lines, right? Like, so anyways, that's gonna be it for this. I gotta work on the lighthouse. I'm gonna just, just carve Rob a close up. Sign your pieces. I don't like uh, filming in the sunshine. It's hard to see the screen and all that stuff. And this was a terrible, terrible piece of wood to carve. But show you guys all, you know, I pulled through and just finished the piece, right? There's our old haunted uh, wood spirit. All right, Bob. Thanks, everybody. Um, hope somebody's learned something. Oh, I painted this guy green, too. Just because, you know, you can see... See this orange stuff here? That's all wood glue mixed with sawdust. See how orange it is compared to the wood? So I just figured out what the hell, I'll paint that guy green. Just for something to do. So anyways, lots of friends, I've sold some. This one sold, I got like three other ones sold. People just gotta come and get them. One more thing for Laura out there in Belfast, Ireland. Laura's uh, Bob's daughter. Hey Laura, don't shit your pants. If you go to the beach, beach coming with your dad or up in the forest, make sure you always take toilet paper with you because well, it's not fun to shit your pants and you gotta walk back to the car with shit in your pants. Because well, <laughs> don't shit your pants, Laura, love you.